I'm going to read Genesis chapter 17 and see that Palestine and Canaan was promised to who? The children of Isaac or children of Ishmael? Listen now. Genesis chapter 17 verse number 1. And when Abraham was 99 years old and 9, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. God is saying to Abraham. And Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee and thou shalt be the father of many nations. Plural. Not only Jews. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abraham, but by thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful. Who? Children. And I will make nations of thee, and the kings shall come out. Of course, the kings will not come out for Abraham, his children, coming. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed. Who is this thy seed? Ismael. Thy is a singular, not seeds. Thy seed. And to thy seed after thee, meaning the children of even that who is Ismail alayhi salam. And I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee, listen, the land where thou art a stranger, Palestine, you never know this, even the Arabia, you never know this. And the land where thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan. <laughs> Didn't you read this? Hold the Canaan, city, country, whatever, Palestine, to who? Thy seed. Who is thy seed? Ismail. Because Isaac was not even born. Because if you read further, God says, and I'm going to give you a glad tiding of another son, Isaac. Read Genesis 17 and 18. And I will be their God. Allah will be his God. Who? The children of Ishmael and Canaan is the place Palestine. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore thou then thy seed, again Ismail, after thee in their generations. This is my covenant which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. Was his heart there? Was Isaac born that time? I'm asking Jews. I challenge Jews and Christians and the supporter of these Jews, these Zionist Christians, these wasps, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, tell me, that when God was giving this all revelation to Abraham, was Isaac born or not? And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you, meaning between is Old English. Going further. <clears throat> and God, verse 15, And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah or Sarah. Because she is going to give, look here. And I will bless her. See, Isaac was not born. And I will bless her and give thee a son also, also, also. And of her, yeah, I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be her. Not ask, I'm asking these Jews, do you read your Bible? Canaan was gifted to who? Promised to who? Where you people came in as a promised land, this land was promised to thy son Ishmael, not Isaac. Because Isaac is going to born. He was not born yet. <clears throat> then listen. Verse 18. And Abraham said unto God, O that, Ish o that Ishmael. Listen. And Abraham said unto God, O that Ishmael might live before thee. See, before thee. And God said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son. It's another Ishmael is back. Now listen this. And thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant. So God is going to make a covenant between Isaac and Ishmael, both. But Palestine was promised to only Ishmael. According to the Bible. And for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Listen. For Ishmael, I have heard thee. Why God is saying I have heard? Because Shama in Hebrew means hear, witnesses. And Ishmael, Allah heard. 
Listen. For as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him, blessed him, and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes ye shall beget, and I will make him a great nation. I will make him a great nation. And but for my covenant will I establish with Isaac, with Sarah, and on and on and on. You read but just Genesis 18, you will find Isaac and Isaac and Ishmael in 17. Now, after having said all these things, Canaan promised to who? I challenge all these Jews and Christians to prove me from your Bible that Canaan was gifted to Isaac, not to Ishmael. Show me in your Bible. Show me. Don't talk. Show me the way I showed you. Don't, you see, this is the deception they play. This is the deception they're playing for thousands of years. And when you read Genesis 18 and further, you start seeing Ishmael is going to get bad. He's a, he's a wild. His children are wild. Why? Then they change these pe things, you know, political reason. Now I'm asking, when God says that Ishmael, you are blessed and 12 princes shall beget, then why God after one chapter says that Ishmael, you are not blessed and your children are ruthless? Why? You see, these are the games you are playing for thousands of years, changing the kalam of Allah. Anyways, I'm going to end this. Canaan, this is the promised land. You keep talking. Shut that, you know, false agenda and pretext. Your Bible says in Genesis 17, 17 that God promised Canaan, which was given to thy seed, Ishmael, because Isaac was not born yet.